very excited for this one because he is going to be a great player who's also been through a lot and has a great story. We are very excited to welcome to the show from Florida State, defensive end, Janaris Robinson. What's up, Janaris? Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Excellent. Uh, we love having you on the show. There are so many things to talk about. We want to jump right into this, if you don't mind, and you would indulge us, because you have a really incredible personal story of perseverance. Some of our viewers may not know it. You're originally from the Florida Panhandle, Janaris, and back in October of 2018, Hurricane Michael destroyed your home in Panama City. Yes, sir. When you go through something like that, especially as a young man, how do you get through it? It seems so devastating. The pictures are heartbreaking. What did you do to get over this following that devastating loss? Um, currently, I just had to, you know, just control my emotions and just lean on, um, you know, the FSU community where I was going to school and, you know, community in general, just, you know, just trying to, uh, you know, just be there in any way that I can, you know, when tragedy struck, they were behind me and supported me in a tremendous way. Now, the story does have a, a different twist to it because last year, after two years of waiting, you were able to move back home. What did it feel like moving back home? And now, what does the future feel like as things have been rebuilt, not only at home, but now you're on the, the cusp of NFL stardom? Um, it feels great to be back in our house. Um, you know, my mom was without a house for two, uh, about two years. And, you know, that was a house that we all grew up in, um, a family house that, you know, was there for five generations. Everybody in my family, you know, grew up in the house. And just to be back there, it really meant a lot. And just having my mom have somewhere to, um, you know, just lay her head. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm. That's amazing. So 10 days after Hurricane Michael uh, hit Panama City, you returned to Florida State. You had a sack. Uh, six tackles, your first game back on the field. What what did that hair? What did going through that hurricane mean for you as a football player and you as a man? How did you grow? Um, you know, just just you know, I've been playing football since I was a little kid, and that's something that I love doing. And you know, just getting back on that field was a way to you know just uplift the community that was going through a lot. And you know, just example of staying strong and you know fighting through adversity and you know get my community and me through something that you know was destructive and was a hard time. And going back on that field was just a way for me to, you know, uplift the people in the city that raised me. We love hearing your story. It's very inspiring here on this Thursday morning. And thank you for waking up with Good Morning Football. What a year you had last year. I was just looking at some of these numbers. You led Florida State in sacks for anybody that might not know. Strong performance in the Senior Bowl. Great numbers and marks on your pro day as well. There are a lot of GMs that are looking at you, sizing up that tape, watching right now. Most of them are, actually. Coaches, you got analysts, all those guys picking you apart with those scouting reports. What do you want them to know, and what are they overlooking, more importantly? Um, you know, my production at Florida State really wasn't the greatest, but, um, you know, I feel like I'm that first-round talent and can be that all-around defensive end that plays, you know, uh, defensive end, outside linebacker, you know, can also drop into coverage and, um, you know, not many people can bring that versatility to the table. It also has that length and athletic ability at the same time. I love watching you rush the passer because you wear that number 11. You don't see that every day. Number 11, you usually see the 90s or the 70s. It's cool. You look slick. You look smooth. And yet you're 263 pounds. You're a big fella. The guy that you've been compared to is a player that just dominated the NFC playoffs and the Super Bowl, Jason Pierre-Paul. Both of you guys are Florida fellas. So what, tell me, what do you look at in JPP's game? And are those comparisons fair? Um, I look at just, you know, how he, he has a, you know, a great motor. He's always going. And that's something that I, you know, want to take from his game and take to, you know, the team that, you know, decides to drive me to their organization. Well, let's bring this full circle, Janaris, because you continue to stay close to your community, of course. In fact, you've hosted the Win Within football camp. Win Within. You've also held a backpack drive in Panama City. You do it all. So I ask this. We're a few weeks away from the NFL draft. You will likely hear your name called at the draft to join a team and enter the NFL after all you've been through, all the, the heartbreak and the setbacks that you have persevered through. What's it going to be like to hear your name as you enter the National Football League? Um, it's going to be very emotional. Um, you know, this is something that I've dreamed of doing since I was a little kid. And, you know, I've always played football and just 
for that moment and, you know, my dreams to be unfolding right in front of my eyes is going to, you know, just be very emotional. Um, you know, it is something, like I said, I dreamed of and, and, and worked for since I was a little kid, you know, a lot of hard work and dedication and, you know, just to be there with my family and just to see my dreams come true is going to really mean a lot. We cannot wait to watch. Always looking for good knolls in the league. And based on the artwork over your right shoulder, maybe it'll be Tampa Bay. The motif would fit right in, and we cannot wait to see it. Like I said, Janaris Robinson, thank you so much for joining us, man. Yes, I appreciate it.